In this video, I'm going to show you how to attack the whole field by utilizing trips tied in and spacing to make your offense more effective. Now, if you are watching this video and you're new to the game, we really want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button to the channel. Every day we upload videos that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're just looking to get better at the game, like I said, just hit the subscribe button down below. And we're going to jump right into this. This is a concept that I actually really think it's like super, super underrated out of trips. And it's so good because it attacks the whole field um, horizontally. So I'm just gonna set a couple of the kind of standard audibles here from nickel 335, uh, nickel 335 wide. And then we're gonna come out in uh, Mike Blitz 3. And the play is PA counter go, but it's, it's a little bit of a different setup than you've probably seen before. And you can, you can honestly run this on either hash, but I really like running this on the wide side, but you can run it on either side. And I, I gotta change my coach adjustment, sorry about this. Um, I'm gonna change it out of mana line. Even though some people will run mana line against you, we're gonna show this without mana line on because we're mainly trying to show this uh, concept for zone. And you could do this out of PA shot wheel too, if you wanna have a little bit of a deeper crosser um, then you can you can do it out of that as well but anyway the play PA counter go so how we're gonna set this up is we're gonna utilize um, kind of a, a lesser known or not even lesser known just less 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 utilized route um, and that is the tight end drag so basically what we're going to do here is this is cover three and we're just going to let me make sure I put curl flats on the field so I don't get anything weird. Um, we're just going to motion Scotty Miller to the left or to the to the tight end side to the right, and we're going to put him on a streak. Now you can also motion him to the left, and it'll put him a little bit more inside if you want him a little bit more inside. But you see right here, he's just going to be on a clear out route for the crosser. Then on the left side, we're going to run a comeback route to Mike Evans, and we're going to run a drag to the tight end now you can also put a curl route out there i'll break that down as well but anyways what you'll notice with this is you have a high low here on the left side this comeback route will get played as you can see by a purple so just wanted to kind of keep that you know just kind of kind of keep you aware of that but what you'll see here and i'll show you real quick and again you can use a curl you can also use a um you can use a curl you can also use a comeback so you don't have to, you don't have to use, you know, one or the other. But what you'll notice is if they are not setting zone drops, so like if they're running default coverages, and then I'll motion Scotty Miller to the left so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But what you'll see, see how he's a little bit more inside. Um, he'll still be a, the perfect clear out route for you. But what you'll notice here is that if they're not running zone drops, this crosser will get over the top. And even if they are zone, running zone drops, they have to have 30 yard cloud flats on the outside to be able to stop that, okay? And so what we're gonna uh, go to is a double Mabel look. And this is where this becomes a pretty decent little defense or um, pretty decent little concept. So you see here, I've got my double Mabel and we're gonna go Mike Blitz three. And what you'll notice is double Mabel look what you'll see here is this middle of the field will now be cleared out for the tight end to be able to work over the middle. So the snap the ball, you'll see this drag can be thrown for an easy five to 10 yards. Now, another thing that I really like about that drag is a lot of times what will happen, especially in a double Mabel situation like this. And again, you know, they're using, you know, 30 yard clouds because they have to for the crosser. So another thing that will happen is whenever you run this, this tight end drag is one of the best routes in the game for pulling zone. If, you, if you're not getting a lot of pressure, you can put your running back on like an option route or something like that. But anyways, here you'll see this curl flat. See how it kind of goes to that curl route and then now you can kind of throw that tight end route. So you see how that 10 yard, if it's a 10 yard, it has to be a 10 yard. Um, if it's a 10 yard curl flat in a zone drop, it will play the, the curl, but any other zone really won't play the curl. And so you can kind of, 
once this tight end kind of passes, if this guy starts to back up, you can kind of throw the pass lead up. And what you'll see here, like right, right there. See how he sucks inside? And I can kind of throw that with the pass lead up, get about seven, eight yards. So that's one of my favorite plays. Um, another thing you can do, because we know this is a really simple setup here, is put this backside guy on a smart routed in. Now, why you might want to do this is because if they're double mabling, it's kind of a specific adjustment to a curl flats. But if they're double mabling like this, this drag, you'll see the curl flat will suck into the middle of the field. You can pass lead up that drag, and a lot of times you'll get, you know, at least five, if not ten yards. So that's a simple, um, you know, just a simple play that can do, you know, some basic things for you. Now, another thing that you can do with this is I was talking about the comeback. So the comeback is kind of a route this year that I think is really underrated. Um, it's really good against man. So, and that's why I like it so much. It's really more of a man thing. But well, you'll see with the comeback, he's just gonna get deeper and it's harder for that purple to get out there. So as you can see, if they're running something like a Mike Blitz three, where they're putting their purple, their purple is coming from this defender if you put that guy on the left in an out route or a comeback route, either one, um, it's it's, a, it's just really hard for them to get out there. That It's really hard for that purple to, to, to get out there. So you see here, oh, I see I have leverage. So I'm just going to throw the outside pass lead. And you see it's about a 20-yard dot. So you can kind of you know use that at your discretion. Um, do understand that obviously it's a linebacker, so that's part of why he's getting out there a little slower. But the other thing I want to point out about the comeback is if they they just pull the zone a little bit deeper. So what you'll see here is if they're not running hard flats, see how that guy will get pulled a little bit more. And again, you know, you're gonna get five to 10 yards on that. Another really simple route that kind of helps with the timing if you don't want to use, a, use that comeback, or not comeback, but um, if you don't want to use the tight end drag because you think it's getting over there too quick. Use this little basic five yard in. One of the best routes in the game this year is this little five right out. So you see how the zones get pulled out and then that's wide open over the middle of the field. So that's kind of the simple, sim um, simple play. It's one of my favorite plays for man. So I'll show you it against man here. And the reason I like it so much against man is because the tight end drag normally gets open. The crosser normally gets open because you motioned over triangle. And then you have this comeback route. So you see this drag is really good against man. If you got a good tight end, you'll be able to break a tackle, get upfield for about 10 yards. So you have um, you have a really good read against man. Now the other thing that you have is because you motioned into a two by two receiving set with this right here. Now there's not gonna be a match principle on Godwin. So he's just gonna be basic man coverage. And a lot of times he'll beat man just at the end of the route or if you have a route tech or whatever. It's just a lot easier to beat man whenever you're in two by two in trips because of the quarters thing that a lot of people like to do this year. And then lastly, this, um, this comeback read, just when he cuts the outside, like right there, you just want to aggressive catch it. And you see it's fairly consistent against man to man. So that's a simple way that you can beat man. I mean, it's it's it, it's pretty straightforward. If you wanted to, you could leave this little speed out here and then just do this. This is fine as well. So you see that we have this really kind of cool little fade, but I would still streak him. And now you have this out route to Miller. Um, so you still have a high-low on the left. And you'll notice that this out route, um, it used to be a little bit better, but it, uh, it still can beat man if you can just get it off the press a little bit. But anyways, that is, you know, this setup, a couple different variations of it. The curl will work against man as well. You just need to make sure, like if they have a purple zone over there, of course, then there's going to be a guy. But, and then the last thing, I didn't say this, but if they're running, if they're truly running a lot of man, this route, the back little option route, really simple way to beat man coverage. And then of course, like I said, your comeback. Another thing that you can do is you can put like your running back 
on a in route like this and then leave this fade over here if you wanted to just kind of a little bit more room this is not a bad concept at all you still have a high low between your running back and your tight end so you can kind of fit that tight end route in there if you want to but that's a simple way to run this play very simple i just like it because we have a setup where we can motion this guy across and put him on the fade and then from here you've got a couple different options you can leave this out route to the tight end um you could drag him the smart routed in on the backside is normally really good against beating man especially if they can't run the quarter adjustment so if you really want to if you're really struggling you got that drag there and then you get the dig that you can aggressive catch against man coverage so that is just the basic simple concept from trips if you want to learn the whole offense I've got all of my Madden strategy guides in my Patreon. So by becoming a member, you'll get access to the Trips Tight End Guide, but you'll also get access to all of my Madden 22 offenses and defenses. In addition to that, our weekly pro tips as well. So if you want to check that out, that's linked in the description below. Only $10 to sign up. And if you want to sign up, head on down to the description of the video and click the link below.